Good morning. Welcome to Pastor John's Fireside Chat. It is Friday, May 28th. I hope that you're doing well. This coming Monday is Memorial Day. It's a time for us to remember that what we enjoy in this country has come at a great cost to many people over the years. Like many, I'm going to be putting out my flag and I'll be celebrating the liberties that we have here in the United States. And while the United States is not a perfect nation because it's made up of a bunch of sinful people, we are incredibly blessed by God. And it is appropriate for us to pause and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all the men and the women who paid the ultimate price so that we could enjoy the privileges and the liberties that uh, many people in this world could only dream of, but we have them because of the sacrifice of soldiers over the years. I have some praying hands that I got from the Holy Land uh, many years ago, and I often put the flag right here because it reminds me of what I can do to be a blessing to other people in our country, and that is to pray for them. We do that every Sunday. We, we pray for police officers, we pray for firefighters, we pray for the military, we pray for the people who defend our liberties, protect us, and are a, a gift from God to us. I constantly have to remind myself to lift other people up in prayers, especially those that often I don't see on a regular basis, like the military uh, personnel who are deployed, uh, the police officers who do their job so faithfully and while I'm sleeping at night or while I'm doing my other duties, uh, the doctors, the nurses, the firefighters. We are blessed with so many people in our lives. and. On this coming Monday, I would encourage you to thank God for our country, to thank God for those who keep us safe and protected, but then of course, to remember those who died. That's what Memorial Day is all about, so that we can live in this wonderful country. Freedom never comes cheaply. Freedom is an incredible gift, but it is a very priceless, costly gift. The greatest freedom of all is spiritual spiritual freedom from sin, death, and the power of the devil. And just as our national freedom has come at a price, so too did our freedom over sin, death, and the devil. It came at the life of God himself. But because of Jesus' death and resurrection, what Jesus said in John chapter 8 is a reality for us today as his people. Jesus once said, I tell you the truth, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. Now a slave has no permanent place in the family, but a son belongs to it forever. So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. And that's what we are. We are freed by the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. And that is a freedom that is greater than we can possibly imagine. And it has significant ramifications for how we live our lives each and every day. We are eternally protected. We are cared for. We have a home that will never be taken away. And in the meantime, that means that we can live life boldly and confidently. We don't have to be fear mongers. We don't have to be afraid of what's coming down the pipe because nothing that comes into our lives escapes the notice of the one who died and rose again to give us eternal freedom. And as we live our lives, we can do it joyfully, lifting up other people in prayer, knowing that God is the one who watches over his people. This coming Monday, I hope that you'll take time to pray. I hope that you'll take time to remember and to celebrate that this country is a country that is great because of the sacrifices that the men and women of the military have made over the many years of our existence. Have a great day and a blessed Memorial Day.